Hi guys, it's Michaela here and today I'm going to show you how I edit in Lightroom. It's going to be a basic blogger edit for some of the shoots I do for street style. So I'm going to start off with the photos I've done with Natasha last week and I'm going to go ahead, click on one and press develop. Now before I usually start experimenting with all the tones and the colours and stuff, I go straight down and I go to transform and press level. Now this should straighten up the photo and I usually press, like, I sometimes have to do this because I sometimes I do shoot a little bit slanted when I'm having to bend down to take the photos. And then I also go to lens corrections and press enable profile corrections and that way it gets rid of the vignetting around the size as you can see here. Now we can start. I'm also really excited to do this video because of I just learned how to record my screen. I just didn't know how easy it actually is. But yeah, now let me start with the shadows because I found the quite a little bit dark. And I want to bring up the shadows. You can see more of the dress, the shoes, and obviously Natasha there. I'm also going to bring down the highlights to give the background some, some details and go back up a little bit. Also going to bring up the whites because I want the buildings to stand out and pop out a little bit as well. I'm also going to bring up the contrast a little bit, probably around 8, maybe 10, let's see. And then I'm going to do the same with the black, so I'm going to bring that down a little bit. And that way the subject is now a bit more vibrant, a bit more bold. I'm also going to go to clarity and just take that up by 5 or 6. You don't want to go too far because if you go up too far it looks a bit like this and it looks like a really bad Instagram filter that you've just applied. So let's go back down to what looks good. And I'm also going to bring up the vibrance because I like a photo standing out loads. I very, I'm very much known for the colours I use and the tones. And also bring down the saturation a little bit. So let me go back a bit with vibrance. Perfect. Now I'm going to go and mess around with some of the highlights. See, each time you do edits, you don't know what the outcome is going to be. So every time you do a, a photo, you do have to experiment a little bit. Bring the darks up a little bit and also bring down the shadows there. Now, because of the focus is basically on the dress, I'm going to use most of the hues, saturation and luminance to bring out the dress a bit and to make it stand out even more. So as you can see that, that already makes the dress stand out so much. Bring out the luminance a little bit and I'm also going to see what the what I can change the hue to. I prefer it like that. I like the tones of the red there. I don't want to go too different to the dress. I just want to make the dress stand out even more. I'm going to orange. Now this would affect Natasha's skin and I love messing around with a bit of the orange. It makes her glow a bit more and I don't want to go, I don't want to change her skin colour too much. I want it to be exactly identical but just stand out a bit more in the photo. So let's go a bit for the hue and I think that's actually better. Now for the yellow, you can see that the, there's a bit of yellow on the dress but the yellow is also on the green on the floor which I find is quite disgusting and how I would get rid of the green I would go into Photoshop and just kind of clone tool it out if I can't get the yellow out or the green with the tones because I don't want to take too much of the colours out from the photo. I'll also do that over here as well and there I wouldn't have to Photoshop that out now. The blues will affect the background a little bit like the, the white colour but I'm going to see what it's like. I think, I think that's better and so should the purple. The purple should kind of affect Probably this area. Yeah, I want to get rid of that and make it stand out a little bit. And I think that's better. I love shooting against white plate houses. I just think that it makes the subject and the clothing stand out a lot more. Let's see what we can get from this one. Can't really see a difference, so there's no point me experimenting with that. I like to sharpen up the image just a little bit more. Probably to 35. And I also like doing a bit of noise reduction and that way let's go to probably just like 28 or 29 because what you would usually do uh, and I think it's just so much easier when you have like noise reduction because it saves you having to airbrush loads in Photoshop so you can go 
you can see like some of the details have kind of gone a little bit and it's just, just lots more nicer to Photoshop. And let's see. There's no grain, so I don't want this fader to be a bit retro or have too much grain in it. And yeah, I think we've done with that one. So you can see like a before and after. And just see how how different it is. Like it's so much nicer here. It's brightened up. And yeah, let's go back over here. And what you can do, because I have quite similar photos, you can do this little trick. Go to settings, copy settings. Okay, and then you can go back to library. And then you can choose another photo. Maybe I'll go for that one because that's more similar. And you just have to press settings, paste settings, and bam. You don't have to waste too much time having to edit the similar photo. Perfect, we've got the vignetting gone, we've got the leveling right, and that's perfect. What I may do a little bit is just, just tweak a little bit because it's not exactly the same photo but it's in the same location. Just bring it up a little bit more. And then I'll go to my third photo. And let's see if it'll be a bit the same. Paste the settings. Perfect. I find this photo a little bit dark though, because it's obviously not the same part. So I'm just gonna bring up the highlights. And you can see like now the background's a bit more sharper there. Enable profile corrections. Although I do like it a little bit dark sometimes, a bit dark or moody, but for this in, for this tutorial, I'm just gonna show you what I would usually do. And let's level it up a little bit. And there, I think that's way better. Just gonna go back to the colors and just kind of bring up the colors a little bit more again. So when you copy and paste settings, if it's not exactly the same photo, you won't get the same settings paste. Well, you won't get the same kind of effect. Not, not effect, but you know what I mean. And here, I think that's way better. Maybe bring up the shadows a bit more. And I think that's it. And then what you would do after, you'll just go to File, Export, and then you'll have all your photos export, and you can just see a nice before and after of the photo. Just look how vibrant it is. And that's just something I simply do by just quickly messing around with some of the settings in Lightroom, just to enhance the photo a little bit. You can do the same with the other ones, I forgot to show you what it looks like. See, way better. And back to the original. Go back to this one. I think my, what I prefer, I do prefer this shot the most because I love a little close up detail shot. You can see more, like, see more of the outfit there. And I think the colours really do stand out. I hope this video has been helpful. And if you want to see me record any more, tutorials just let me know in the comment section and yeah that's the end oh yeah and don't forget to like comment and subscribe i really do appreciate it and i really do like having to do these type of tutorials because it's something that i don't get to show people very often so bye